tuning into my channel. It's Val in Vancouver here. I'm going to try something a little different today with a bottle bottom, obviously taking off, taking the bottom off of a bumpy bottle. Those are hard to find. I actually had to buy a bottle of water to get this bottom. But anyways, I'm again working on using up some paints and also wanting to try something different here. So my plan is to um, use the bottle bottom to create several flowers on this canvas. And normally you use this technique and then you either tilt the canvas and create some really cool lines or I know it's well used for doing reverse flower dips by people like Fiona of Fiona Art which is one of the people I admire. Her reverse flower dips are always amazing. Um, but I also like when you don't um, uh, do the paper towel or napkin on top and pull it back. So and maybe just do some lines in the flowers. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about when we get going here. So let's do that. Let's get going. So I'm just going to get some gloves on. I'm going to use a back, black background for all of this. So we'll just do that first. And then I've just picked a number of colors, like I said, trying to use up some paint and also have obviously pretty colors. So we will um, see what we come up with. All right, let's spread this around. This is a 10 by 20 canvas that I have, I'm using. I have put um, tape on the, on the back and push pins to hold it up, so, even though I'm not planning on tilting this, but just to in case, uh, you never know, I might change my mind sometimes, but yeah, I just always do the push pins or cups underneath, just makes it easier to handle the canvas whenever I need to. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm hoping wherever you're living that they are opening things up again. They definitely are slowly doing that here in Vancouver as of this past long weekend. You know, uh, getting out with your friends or family in very small groups is allowed and, and encouraged in some ways just to get everybody out into nature and feeling mentally better. Um, I've been doing getting out for walks and stuff. I went out for a glorious walk yesterday actually. Um, but I've only so far seen one of my friends face to face one last weekend. We went to the garden center and bought some pretty plants. But um, hopefully getting together with a couple other friends coming up here and there. So um, yeah, still not back to work yet, but that's because um, I live further away than most of the other my coworkers and have to take public transit. So my bosses are wanting to be. A little bit careful still on you know exposure um, on public transit because obviously taking a longer route and taking a couple different modes of transit the sky train and the bus then I am you know at risk I guess you could say of more exposure than somebody who's just taking one short bus ride to work so I'm not sure when I'll be going back to work but I will be going back eventually so in the meantime I keep creating and doing my thing and having a fun time trying different things. If you want to fast forward to this part, feel free of course. I don't want anybody to feel that they're being bored or having to watch something that they're not enjoying. But I hope obviously that you'll stick around and watch the whole video. Because I think it's going to be fun. So I'm not going to worry about the sides right now. I can always paint those after since I don't pan plan on pouring off this canvas with what I'm doing. I can just paint the sides later. It's not a big deal. But I do want to cover as much as the canvas obviously as I can. There we go. And I am just going to give that a quick torch because I shook that up right now and so there's a lot of air bubbles in here. So let's just give it a quick torch to get rid of the air bubbles. Okay, so like I said, I have a number of colors here. I have, and these are all Artist Loft, I believe. Um, so I've got an emerald green. I've got deep magenta. I've got alizarin crimson hue permanent. That's definitely not an Artist Loft color. I've got quincryden golden hue, sort of an orangey gold. I've got light blue. I've got aqua green, not a huge amount of that. 
and I've got a phthalo blue and some violet. These are upside down because again, they're not a lot of them left. And also, of course, I've got white. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to put the um, bottle bottom right here to start. And I'm going to hopefully, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> let's just see what happens here. I'm going to hopefully try and do, I think, four flowers on here. And we'll see what happens. We'll start with some white. Oops, I'm going to have to refill that one. Yeah, I've got lots. I did finally manage to get around to um, mixing paints the other day. So I've got some of my black and white and other colors restocked. I'm just kind of choosing colors as I go here. The flowers will probably all be different color combinations. That one's definitely thinner than the other ones. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that deep magenta. I think it's kind of created a little bit of a mess there. Just blowing the color off to make sure I'm not wasting any. I'm going to grab my handy dandy straw here. I just find it's better that way. Okay. Let's let that one just finish and then we'll pick this up and move it. And it's uh, hard to pick it up with gloves on for whatever reason. And we're going to do another one over here. I'm just playing here with things, but let's uh, let's continue on. Some of these colors have been sitting for a while and they are mixed with 60% uh, Elmer's glue and 40% water with the paint. So I'm, that's why I'm shaking them up here as I go. Okay, let that one flow a little bit. I like how this looks. It's going to drag things in a bit more. I'm okay if the hole, the middle doesn't fill in all together. kind of adds some nice flowery effect on its own that way. Alright, so let's lift up this next one. 
Well, first we'll use the straw to move the paint out of the middle. Okay, looking good. We'll move this one over to about here. I'm liking how these are looking. All right, let's carry on. So we'll do the next one, starting with some white again. And we'll go for some light blue. Actually, I think we'll go for this gold hue. I haven't used that one yet. Almost like a pumpkin -y brown. this crimson hue permanent. And then I think I'm going to use just a little bit more white on top of this one. I like what's happening on top of the bottle bottom. That's pretty awesome. All right. We'll lift this one up. And we'll do one more over here. I'm going to take the gloves off. I'm not really handling anything that's going to get me really mucky and but a little bit I do get on my hands, I can obviously wash off. None of these paints have um, silicone in them, so I don't expect to get any cells or anything like that. And this is nice how this kind of ran into the middle. I'm just going to keep it there. Okay, let's do the last one. Again, we'll start with some white. We'll go back, I think, to the phthalo blue.
And some, let's see here. We'll do some light blue. It's interesting because this one I've got the most interesting look and I don't know if that's because of the um, deep magenta but I wasn't going to use it again but I think I am even though it is much thinner than the other colors and then I think I'll end with a little bit of violet in this one okay there we go so now we'll Use a straw to blow this off. There we go. All right. Gonna grab a paper towel to put the cup on. And then we will take this off. Okay, I'm actually going to put this one back on so I can line it upright. And I'm just going to add a bit more white. And maybe it's another color to this one too. Let that drain for a minute. Thinking I'm going to add a little bit of. Hmm. Maybe that uh, either the gold hue or the crimson hue permanent. I did use the crimson hue permanent here, but you can't see it very much. I think I might add a bit of that, the crimson hue, and a bit more white to this one. Just giving this one another second to dry here, to drain. Okay, I'll move this one over. Hopefully I can line it up the way it was. All right. So I'll add a bit of the crimson hue. And then a bit more white.
Okay. We'll let that drain a bit a minute longer and we'll take that off. I'm really liking that. This one I think is my favorite so far. This one, unfortunately, the violet took over on that one and but uh, I still like it. I'm wondering if I can do anything with the skewer to make it look more interesting. Okay, let's lift this one off. Oh, that looks awesome. That's a perfect flower shape. Really liking this one now. This red white, purpley red. Okay, the only thing I don't like is I don't actually like that. Let's see. I can get rid of that. I was looking for my little syringe, which is where it went to. All right. Well, we'll try doing it this way. Okay, and then we'll just put a tiny drop of black in there. And then we will give the flower more stripe again. Okay, I am happy with that. I'm going to give everything a little bit of torch, get rid of air bubbles, and see if it does create anything else. Excellent. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back, and we'll bring you in for close-ups. Okay, so we're back. I really, really like this. Turned out pretty much how I was wanting, expecting. Uh, of course, the flower petals are not exactly perfect, but then flowers really aren't, and I think it looks gorgeous. So let's move in for some close-ups. I'm going to move down to the first flower I did here. So you can see here the effect of this the two blues together. Let's see if I can get close enough for you to see that. I uh, apologize for the glare. There we go. So the two blues there created some pretty effect, and even over here with this uh, magenta that was thinner than the rest, has definitely created a very pretty effect with this particular flower. We'll move over here to the second flower that I did. Again, really like this one. I like that I added that crimson hue and the white at the at the end. They and then dragging the skewer through them really made them turn out pretty. So I really like those. And then moving up to this one, I love the colors in this one. Makes me think of fall flowers, um, chrysanthemums and things like that. Usually colors like this. So yeah, I really like this one too. Uh, it turned out well. And then over to the last one. So this one is also very pretty. I'm glad I did add the extra white in there. So that violet did spread um, a lot and definitely not um, evenly, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it at is because it is abstract art and I think it looks wonderful. So here we go, the overall picture again. And I'm really, really happy with this. Exactly what I was trying to uh, create. 
very thrilled. So thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom, please do so. would love for you to watch my videos and hopefully get some knowledge and enjoyment out of them. And therefore also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload my next video. Have a great day. Get out into the sunshine or whatever weather it might be near you and get some fresh air. Talk to you all soon. Bye.